youtube channel so on today's video i am gonna show you my weekend routine so i'm gonna take you through my whole weekend what i do during the weekend and i hope you're gonna enjoy this video so basically my weekend will start on uh, friday evening until sunday evening you know and then i prepare to go back to work on a monday so i'll just take you through my weekend and i hope you enjoyed the video please remember to subscribe share like comment we are on the way to 200 subscribers guys i'm so grateful for all those who have subscribed and for all those who are supporting me i am really really grateful and god bless you thank you so let's go so guys i'm making a snack for the baby and this is basically um some apple and pear so what i'm doing is i'm trying to steam so that when i blend them it will be easy so this is a steamer i got for the baby and i love it it works miracles so all i have to do is switch it on so if it's a an apple i just put one which is already a one so after one i just press here and it will start steaming So guys i'm done cleaning my fridge it looks clean 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 don't worry i don't have a lot of things and don't judge me because i have a very big pizza <laughs> that's for the weekend though um so yeah and i have a lot of milk whole milk because i have a calendar in my house <laughs> so they have to drink milk yeah so it's all clean my freezer is also cleaned up so what i normally do with my cereals is i boil them and then i pack them in the ziplocs and then i freeze them so isn't it what are they called jesus lentils i have lentils and then i have some beans here yeah so that's what i do so whenever we want to eat beans we just take them out of the freezer fry them and that's it so i'm done with the fridge and moving on to the next session section not session so guys i want to do my laundry as i clean the rest of the house uh, so that by the time i'm done cleaning my laundry will also be done so i'll be starting with the baby's clothes so i normally use a sanitizer because we wash our clothes using the same machine so i'm just gonna sanitize her clothes and guys just for the record i hate doing laundry i used to wash laundry in kenya red so i hated doing laundry so for me these machines are life savers driving with the windows down trying just to drown it out oh the silence way too loud like a broken record now Maybe we can work it out One more drink could cool things down yeah. Telling all your friends things that I never said They're pushing you to get away Maybe it's your therapist telling you that everything is gonna be okay Fighting with your head, I can 
hear it in bed, you're trying to keep me awake Can I be honest? Just let me be honest, yeah Can we get over it? Or shall we just keep this up? Can we get over it? Cause haven't we had enough? Can we get over it? Or are we too deep in love? Can we get over it? No Can we get over it? No Wishing we could have some fun But you won't tell me what you want should I just turn this car around? Baby, we're holding on to what we used to feel Wondering if it was even real Can we ever work this out? dinner for friday is ready i just have it eat and go to bed or probably watch something before going to bed and that's how my friday is i had a plant here but it is dying mm. I wanted to keep a plant but sasa imekufa it's dead guys sijui ni maji mingi ama hii plant si ya si ya winter so kamekufa eh niwaambia wazungu wameamka kutembeza madogi tu ndio kazi wanafanyanga Play <laughs> nakaa kunyesha But kuna kajua kadogo mm, so. so today is on a Saturday So guys I just woke up like an hour ago and I washed my hair It was very dirty very 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 dirty So the only thing it's so expensive like it's so expensive sometimes i wish i could cut my hair but now because it's almost winter i will die of cold and i don't look good in wigs <laughs> so yeah so that's why i have to keep this hair because of winter because once i shave it See, the braids I had on before I took them out nilishukiwa na 200 so that's like 20000 in Auma in so yeah I wanted to do some braids isn't it was cornrows I wanted to do some cornrows but lazima uh, after 90 bob so I have to look for like 100 bob ama 90 bob then if I knew a controls or again I look for 200 bob and then they do my hair yeah but I used to do my hair by the way I used to do my hair I can do my own hair it's just that um I have too much on my plate right now and all that so yeah so right now what I am gonna do because I'm not ready to braid it 
So I, I just want to stretch it. Ni blue dry kidogo so that it is isumbwe ni kecha hivi itakunjana alafu itanisumbua. So yeah. I'm just going to blow dry it. So I usually use the coconut virgin oil. That's what I use on my hair. I have this blow dryer. It's a small one. So oh, this is very essential by the way. If you're living in the US as a black woman, it's very essential. Sababu. Akuna, when you go to make your hair, ukienda kutengenezo nyole, hakuna mtu wana kufanyanga blow dry. They just, ukienda hivi, hivi ndu unashukwa. So, nyole yako na kwa tangle, then then na kwa painful. So, it's always good to have this. So, mi utu miyanga hii, kui stretch, na ikona hii kitu. So, it's easier for me to just comb it. Rather than kununua ile blow dry ya yenye nashikilia kichana, and then I do my hair. So this one is very easy. I can do it. Mm -hmm. So kutapa na kelele, but bear with me. So I've already oiled my hair. Nimetumia coconut oil. I've already oiled it. So nataka to Saturday evening, we basically spend time in your own house. <laughs> there is no going to the neighbors. Kwenda kupiga udaku. Kila mtu ako busy anatafuta do. Sasa, nabaki tuwe peke yako. So, wazungu anapenda kutembeza madogi. Wanatembeza asubui na jioni. <laughs> we. What I realized is uh, dogs in America are like babies. They're like human beings. Zikona life insurance. Zikiumia zinapilekwa hosti. And then they have to be treated every, I don't know how long. Vaccinated. You have to take them for a walk. Wezi fungia dog yako ivo. Yeah, na dogi lazime ishi kwa nyumba na wewe. Hawe kaishu kwa inje. Yeah, so... Ah, sasa ningekuwa Kenya ningekuwa nimetoka nimeenda kwa jirani kupiga udaku. Basi sasa <laughs> inabidi unakuwa mdaku wewe peke yako ama wewe na social media. Yeah. 
I don't know if you guys can see, but there's somebody over there who is decorating for Halloween. Our neighbor over there. Saturday evening. I don't have anything else to do apart from <sighs> prepare some dinner. After preparing dinner, that's it. I think I'll, I'll be done with my day. And we wait for tomorrow and see what happens. So for Saturday, I made some spinach. And we were going to have this with ugali and mala or maziwa fresh. So... Uh, we had meat yesterday so I try as much as possible to avoid eating meat every day because it's not healthy so that's what we had for dinner and yeah happy sunday happy and blessed sunday so i'm just leaving for church Ooh, okay so guys i'm just leaving for church our church is like 45 minutes away from where we live so i have to leave a little bit earlier so that I can get there on time so happy Sunday welcome to my Sunday vlog and I hope you all are blessed I hope uh, you all are doing great and I hope you went to church yes it's very important it's very your spiritual uh, part of life is very important so today my plan for the day is basically to go to church our church uh, ends around 2 p.m. 3 p.m. depending uh, it's a prophetic church so it depends on where the Holy Spirit will lead us to so yeah yes mommy praise God praise Jesus mommy you okay, Mama? Mama? The plan on Sunday is always to go to church. I don't make plans afterwards unless, you know, there is something we need to do or it's an urgent thing. Yeah, but I don't make a lot of plans for Sunday because I just want to spend time in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, so come with me as I go to church. And I hope you'll be blessed too. And may God bless you wherever you are, guys. And may God answer all your heart's desires. May He provide for you for those who are in need. May He protect you from you know the, the the attacks of the enemy may he cover you with the blood of jesus so i am a born again christian i go to church my church is a fountain of hope ministries international and that's where i fellowship that's my church uh, i became a member last year when i came back from japan that's when i joined the church and it's been an amazing amazing experience for me personally and i love it i love it i love a place where i can be able to grow i love a place where you know every sunday when i get out of out of church i don't feel the same way i went like it's an amazing place for me and so yeah i love it oh uh, so guys we have arrived at the church so I'm just gonna we are just gonna go in uh, have our time in the Lord in the presence of the Lord and then I'll see you guys after a service so 
yeah god bless you and god be with you guys um we are from church we had a very very powerful sermon today oh my god i am so blessed like i am so blessed guys i'm just blessed by the sermon it was amazing it was about perception how we perceive things you know sometimes we perceive things so negatively and it affects um our success so yeah i learned a lot a lot a lot a lot i think i'll share with you guys once i get home because i can drive and talk at the same time so yeah so i'll see you i just got home from church and i'm um, gonna take my lunch and after that i think i'm just gonna chill because the weather is not looking great today so we're just gonna chill it's a chill sunday afternoon so yeah i'll see you later guys so guys i just received these flowers from my husband to celebrate a hundred subscribers <laughs> oh my god it's a milestone guys it's a mild milestone <sighs> i faced my fears of um just um being a youtuber and also putting myself out there i was like oh i can do it i can talk on the camera i can talk to people what will i tell people <laughs> but i faced my fear and a hundred of you believed in me so Cheers to a hundred subscribers. Thank you for watching uh, the video from the start up to the end. I don't take it for granted for your support and for your love. So basically that's how I spend my weekend and right now I'm just going to prepare to start a new week and you know get ready for work. So yeah so thank you. May you have a wonderful week ahead. May you be blessed. May God uh, grant you your heart's desires and go out there and face those giants those fears that you have and remember that you're blessed you're favored and there's nothing that you cannot do through christ who strengthens you so thank you until the next one bye bye So good morning guys, um, today is on a Saturday and I'm going to take you through my Saturday routine. <sighs> I feel tired already, anyway. So today is on a Saturday and I woke up a couple of, like two hours ago. So I woke up like two hours ago and I just woke up, did the normal thing, make breakfast. No, I did not make breakfast. So I just woke up a couple of hours ago. No, it's not a couple of hours ago.